France and Singapore are set to take research collaboration to the next level. The French Institute of Health and Medical Research, or INSERM, has signed an agreement with NUS and other local institutions. The focus areas include emerging infectious diseases, aging, diabetes, as well as artificial intelligence and data science. Following the setup of a bilateral scientific working group on infectious diseases in July last year, researchers from both nations will also identify potential areas of cooperation and also work together to combat COVID-19. Well, we're joined by Professor Liu Yi Sin, Executive Director of the National Center for Infectious Diseases, for more on this story. Good evening, Professor Liu. Tell us more about the immediate next steps and how France is going to be working with Singapore on this. Well, we are very fortunate uh, to have the opportunity to meet up with uh, many of the uh, French collaborators. Uh, in fact, uh, some of the activities uh, have already started uh, and we are very glad to receive the, uh, the directors from uh, INSEM, uh, Dr. Bloch, visits to Singapore as well as uh, he has visited the National Centre for Infectious Diseases. In fact, uh, there are many topics and items that uh, we can look at, uh, not only current time, but looking into the future as well. Not only looking into emerging infectious diseases, I think there are many other topics, particularly things like antimicrobial resistance will be one of the key topics that we hope we will be able to uh, work together. On fighting infectious diseases then, what can Singapore and France learn from one another, keeping in mind that the uh, virus has kept sweeping across the globe and it's closest to us right now? Well, indeed, um, SARS-CoV-2 is, is uh, like many of the viruses uh, in today's world because the, of globalizations and the ease of travel. Uh, two countries, the distance is uh, becoming so short. Uh, basically, you know, we only need slightly more than half a day to travel from one point to another point. And for that, I think it is very important for Singapore to be fully connected to many parts of the world. And I think uh, this opportunity for us is for NCID in Singapore to be able to connect up with our French uh, uh, colleagues. Now, in terms of uh, COVID-19, uh, there are still a lot more that we need to learn. And I would say that uh, this is an opportunity for us to be able to learn from the experience from one another and be able to share notes. And not only that, I think there are many areas that we can work together. For example, looking into future vaccine development, how the uh, human uh, people like us at different regions of the world respond to vaccine as well as uh, responding to SARS-CoV-2. I do believe that there are differences because of the epidemiological differences uh, in the two regions, but it's always uh, good to be able to share notes. Professor Liu, will this collaboration help narrow any gaps perhaps that Singapore is currently facing? And, and if so, how? Well, I think the first thing we wanted to look at will be vaccine moving forward. Um, many countries are now looking into booster and it will be important for us to further research in this area in terms of what will be uh, the next uh, booster vaccines that will be the best uh, make available uh, as well as the interval durations. And I think this is a brand new area that uh, we hope we will be able to work together. And we've seen COVID-19 vaccines emerge at unprecedented rates over the past year, thanks in large part to research advancements. Well, which capabilities would you say need a boost to tackle disease X or whatever comes next in the future? Well, in order for us to be better prepared for uh, pathogen X, and I think we have to look at many multiple uh, aspects uh, to make sure that we are able to strengthen the local capability to handle the, uh, the, the new uh, infections. Uh, I would say that it will be a whole range Apart from biomedical, uh, we have to uh, range to uh, be able to study social behavior uh, and uh, as well as uh, risk communication as to how we bring out the information, how can we further engage the entire community to be able to be part of the entire battle uh, against uh, new infections and new diseases. Now, I always want to emphasize that infection is not restricted to hospital. It is, it is uh, basically everybody's effort, particularly I think we have learned from SARS-CoV-2, 
that is currently in the community, it is the responsibility of every one of us to uh, be, uh, um, be be alert and be able to comply with many of the uh, safe uh, management measure. Uh, that is basically to protect ourselves. So biomedical medications, medicines development, vaccine developments definitely will add the additional layer, but don't forget human factor as well. Absolutely. It's a collective effort, this fight against COVID-19. Professor Liu, thank you very much for that. Professor Liu Yixin, the you. Executive Director of the National Center for Infectious Diseases.